your name today, Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Jesus. A prophetic word for May 16th, 2019. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I praise you, Holy Spirit. I pray that you'll come upon me even as you spoke in your word, Lord. Uh, as I was reading today in Matthew 13 and 35, uh, Jesus even said that this was to fulfill which was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables and I will utter what has been hidden or kept secret from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. So this is what Jesus spoke. I hear in the spirit of the Lord a prophetic word, new structures, new avenues, and a supernatural paradigm shift. New truths are being unveiled, truths hidden from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. A paradigm shift, structures, offices, and avenues in the Holy Spirit. New truths have been hidden from the foundation of the world but are now being revealed. Colossians 1 26 says even the mystery which has been hid from the ages and from generations but now is made manifest to his saints hallelujah John 14 and 21 he that keeps my commandment is he that loves me and he that loves me my father will love him and I will come and manifest myself to him. Jesus said, I will come and manifest me and make myself known unto you. This is the word manifest, phanios in the Greek, which means I will come and manifest myself to you. I hear the Lord saying that even the mystery that uh, Colossians 1 26 that has been kept hid from ages and from generations is now being revealed to the saints to the sons and the daughters of God even as first Peter 1 and 5 says the elect according to the foreknowledge of God and the father through listen the sanctification of the spirit unto obedience and the sprinkling of blood of Jesus Christ now it says listen to this uh first Peter 1 4 and 5 to an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, that fadeth not away, revealed where? In heaven for you, which we know is heaven is the glory realm. It's all around us. First Peter 1 and 5, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. So I hear the Lord saying, even as this says that we are coming into a fulfillment of time and to the restitution of all things, says the Lord, as Acts 3.21 says, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things which God had spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world begun. Look at also Ephesians 1, uh, 7 through 10, Galatians 4, uh, Galatians 4, 4 through 5. Ephesians talks about, let's look at Ephesians 1 and let's look at 9. Uh, this is the, let's look at, yeah, Ephesians 1 and 9. Having made known unto us the mystery of the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he has purposed in him. Ephesians 1 and 10, that is in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ. Hallelujah. Both which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him. Ephesians 1 11, to whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his will, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ, in whom you also trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of, of your salvation, in whom also after you believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1.14, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of glory, Hallelujah. So this is, I feel the redemption of the person's possession, I hear the Lord say, is coming into a paradigm shift, into a fullness of time, into the restitution of the fulfillment of the prophetic times and seasons. Uh, as it says in this word that the, the times will be fulfilled, and even as Colossians 1.26 says, that there is things that have been hidden from the foundations of the world that have been kept secret and kept hidden from ages and generations. But I hear the Lord saying, these things are now being revealed according to Ephesians 1 and 10 and also 1 Peter 1 5 and Colossians 2 26 to the sons and daughters of obedience this is said it says right here that the fullness of times might be gathered together in one all things in Christ 
both which are in heaven and which are on earth. So it's God is bringing this all things together in one uh, in this prophetic season. I hear the Lord saying, and I also hear, uh, according to Matthew thirteen and fifty two, it says this that the kingdom of heaven therefore is is a, anybody that's a scribe or a scholar trained and instructed in the kingdom of heaven. He is like a master of the house who bringeth forth out of his treasures both things new and old. So new things are coming forth, not just old things, but new things. According to Matthew 13 and 52 and Matthew 13 and 35, all things Jesus did in parables, listen to this, indeed he said nothing to them without a parable, but listen to Matthew 13 and 35. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables and I will utter what has been hidden or kept secret since the uh, beginning or the foundation of the world. So this is the office of the prophet. There's new mantles and new metrons and new spheres of authority given to the offices of the apostles and the prophets. I hear that are new things from the foundation of the world are coming forth. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, so get ready to go into your secret closet, according to Matthew 6 and 6, into the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Ephesians 1, 17 through 20 says that the God of our Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto me the spirit, listen, the spirit of wisdom and of revelation and the knowledge of him, hallelujah, and that the eyes of my understanding being enlightened, that why I, we need our eyes open, that I may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of his glory, of the inheritance of the saints, and what is what? The exceeding greatness of his dunamis, which is the word power, to be uh, uh, toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him up from the dead and he seated him far above all principalities, powers, and rulers in the, in the darkness in, in heavenly places and he gave him to be head over the church which is the body of Christ which is the church that fill, it says in Ephesians 1 23 that filleth all in all in the earth so uh, the body of Christ is us us believers we're the body of Christ Jesus Christ the head but we filleth all in all on earth that means the body of Christ is to fulfill the ministry of Christ where he left off by the ministry of the Holy Ghost and the dispensation of the fullness of times Ephesians 1 and 10 of the dispensation of the Holy Spirit so the Holy Ghost is going to unveil things that have been kept secret from the foundations of the world says the Spirit of the Lord according to Ephesians 1 26 and uh, 1 Peter 5 the uh, 1 and 5 says that those things that have been hidden are going to be kept for the last time so we are in the last time says the Spirit of the Lord and those things that were kept secret from the foundation of the world are going to be revealed according to Hosea uh, 12 12 and 10 by the ministry of the apostles and prophets through dreams and visions and simultudes. Notice that the apostle Paul and Peter all in the book of Acts had trances and visions and dreams uh, and open visions. I'm just going to give you one example. And Jesus himself appeared to not just the Holy Ghost living in us and being upon us and with us. That's the Holy Ghost. But Jesus himself appeared. Look at Acts 22, 14 and 15. Uh, the God of our Father appointed you. This is um, Apostle Paul in Acts 22 talking about his road to Damascus experience in Acts chapter 9 and he's reviewing it in Acts 22 to the people and said the God of our fathers appointed you to know his will and to see the righteous one. Who is the righteous one? Jesus. He see to see the righteous one and to hear a voice from his mouth. Acts 22 and 15. For you will be a witness for him Who's him? Jesus. Every one of what you have what? Both seen and heard. So this is a prophetic. Not only can we hear him, but we can see him according to the word of God. It says in Acts 22, 17 through 18, that Paul was in the temple praying and he fell into a trance. When I it says, Acts 22, 17 and 18, when I had returned to Jerusalem and was praying in the temple, I fell into a trance, listen to this, and saw him, who? Jesus. I saw Jesus saying to me, make haste and get out of Jerusalem quickly because they will not accept your testimony about me. Appearances from Jesus happens now to his holy uh, saints and his apostles and prophets. God is also uh, taking these experiences and mistakes that we have made and using them to propel you to bring about his victory and ultimately his purpose and fulfillment in, in the lives of his saints. So these are going to 
happen through this unveiling of the truths of the gospel that even Jesus himself, according to this uh, scripture, he's going to appear to you. Jesus can appear to us now. It says in uh, Hebrews 7 and 8 that we are based, we are in a new covenant based on better promises. Anything that could happen in the Old Testament or the book of Acts, we, are, we can happen to us now and even greater for First Peter uh uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4 uh, says that God has already given us all things that pertain to life and godliness and the knowledge of him. So we, in dispens- dispensation of the Holy Ghost, should be able to see and do the things that uh, they did in the New Te- in the Old Testament and in the books of Acts and even greater. John 14 and 12 says, greater work shall we do than Jesus because he went to the Father. So God is, is going to open up the secrets to the service of the prophets Amos 3 and 7 and begin to unveil the mysteries of the, the kingdom of heaven every scribe Matthew 13 and, uh, and 52 that is trained it says in the kingdom of heaven or instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like a householder or a master of their own house that bringeth out of their treasures both things new and things old so it's not just the, the old things we have to bring forth the new things and these are things that are kept secret uh, Colossians 1 26 from the foundations that kept away from ages and generations, but is now being revealed unto the ministry of the apostles and prophets. I hear the Lord saying that, get ready for your ministry is about ready to spread forth, says the Spirit of the Lord. I'm about ready to propel my saints forward, says the Spirit of the Lord. I'm going to break down oppositions and send forth the apostolic breaker anointing, according to Isaiah 10 and 27, for it is the anointing that destroys the yoke. According to Micah 2, 13, the breaker has come out of the gate and the king has gone before before them and the Lord before them. The apostolic breaker anointing is coming forth to destroy the yokes of bondies. I hear the Lord saying, according to uh, uh, according uh, to Isaiah 10 and 27, in the name of Jesus, get ready for those things that you were not able to break off by yourself. God's going to send forth a breaker anointing, the apostolic breaker anointing to destroy the yoke of bondage off you and get ready for the things that you didn't think that you could ever get free of. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say that you're going to get free of them now in this month, in this month of May. You, you're going to propel, God is getting ready to propel you forward into your ministry, thus says the Spirit of the Lord, and you will know things that have kept been kept secret, says the Spirit of the Lord, from the foundations of the world and and you will begin to know new structures, new paradigms, new shifts that you will understand in the heavens and the earth. And you will be able to bring forth things new and old, just like uh, Matthew 13 and 52 says. And you will open your mouth in parables, says the Spirit of the Lord. And you will utter things kept secret from the foundation of the world. For you are my prophets, you are my apostles, my evangelists, my pastors, my teachers. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a remnant that God has called out of the world to bring forth the praises of him who has called you out of the darkness and into the marvelous light according to Colossians 1 and 13 he has translated you hallelujah out of the kingdom of darkness and brought you into the kingdom of his dear son Jesus Christ into the kingdom of light you have been metamorphosized by the renewing of your mind according to uh Romans 12, 1 through 3, God says to be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove what is the perfect, good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. I hear the Lord saying, I have a perfect will for my children. I have the perfect will for my children. And I want you to walk in the fullness of the will and the fulfillment of the will that I have given you, my child, says the Spirit of the Lord. Begin to trust me again. Come into the secret place of the Most High, according to Psalms 91, 1, and, and under the shadow of the Almighty, get away from the, the darts of the enemy, says the Lord. For many of you have been in spiritual warfare, as says the Spirit of the Lord. But I have sent my angels to excel in strength, according to Psalm 103 and 20, hearkening to the voice of the Word of God. I, are they not all minister in spirit, set forth to minister for those who shall become heirs of salvation, according to Hebrews 1 and 14. So I hear the Lord say that unemployed angels and ministering spirits have been sent forth. The angel of the Lord encamp around you because you fear God to rescue and deliver you, according to 
Psalms 37 and 4, the angels of the Lord are being excellent in strength. According to Psalm 103 and 20, hearken unto the voice of the word of God. Bless the Lord, you host, you ministers of his that does its pleasure. I hear that invo angels are invoked around you to excel in strength and to carry out the word of God and the will of God in your life. For the word says in Isaiah 55 and 11 that his word shall not come, go out and return to him void, but will accomplish that which he has sent it out to do and it shall prosper in the thing wherein he has sent it. So the fulfillment of those words, the prophetic words that have gone out, says the Lord, shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. According to Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned, says the Lord, for this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is for me, says the Spirit of the Most High God. So God bless everybody. Get ready for this major paradigm shift. A supernatural, even the structures and the things in your life, God's getting ready to send that apostolic breaker anointing according to Isaiah 10 and 27 to destroy those structures in your life that was keeping you from going forward. I hear the Lord saying those angels are coming forward according to Psalm 103 and 20 and Hebrews 1 14 to help you and to encamp around you according to Psalm 34 and 7 to rescue you and deliver you from all the destruction of the enemy and that he's going to help you in the spiritual warfare that has been waging around you right now that the Lord has sent an angelic host and help and there's going to be a supernatural paradigm shift and new truths the Holy Ghost is going to be revealing to you so get your paper and pen out says the Spirit of the Lord and begin to write begin to write again Habakkuk 2 1 through 3 says write the vision and make it plain on tablets so that they that read it will run for surely the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it will speak so that vision if it even if it tarries wait for it for surely shall not tarry but it shall come to pass so pull out those old prophetic words those old journals says the spirit of the lord because those visions that you didn't think were going to come to pass i'm going to bring them to pass because i'm doing everything after the counsel of my will says the spirit of the lord according to ephesians 1 and 10 1 7 through 10 and i'm giving unto you according to ephesians 1 17 through 20 the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him that I, your eyes of your understanding are going to be be enlightened and your heart's going to be in the open even as uh, elijah said to gehazi in second Kings chapter 6 17 open the eyes of my servant that he may see according to hebrews 5 and 14 let your uh, senses be exercised thereby that you might know both good and evil so your eyes are going to be open your senses your your hearing your smelling your taste and your touch in the spirit realm are going to begin to uh, open up says the spirit of the lord you'll begin to see things that were kept secret even as you go into dreams similitudes visions uh, by the ministry of the prophets hosea 12 and 10 you'll begin to see those secrets i'm giving you the secret amos 3 and 7 to the service of prophets surely the lord god will do nothing in the earth lest he first reveals secret unto the servants of prophets so the prophets are coming forward the apostles the mystery of his will that's been kept secret from the foundations of the earth uh Colossians 126 is going to be uh, uh released onto the ministry of the apostles and prophets this new supernatural paradigm shift uh new structures new avenues so don't be surprised if new things come out of nowhere just begin to uh allow the holy spirit to minister to you and write the things down Thus says the Spirit of the Most High God. God bless everybody.